Hello, beautiful family of the light. It's Honeybee wishing you the most incredible Wednesday, full moon Wednesday, with its fullness and the glorious expansion. Right before Thanksgiving, as we give thanks, mm, we move into thanks on so many different levels today. My focus today is actually to share a video on how to really embrace and bless the haters so you can really take part in transforming that energy for those of us who are tapping more and more allowing more light to come in transforming and transcending our vehicle so it becomes more in that purified state to be able to be transformed in the crystalline structure anchoring this energy from above here on earth what is happening, I've shared this in the video before, this, this, this energy field that's really expanded in the magnetic field, it pushes on a lot of individuals. And it pushes on individuals sometimes in your family, sometimes it's your friends, they were close to you, sometimes uh, you're in a profession where maybe you were a teacher and they suddenly like student maybe have turned on you or whatever, there was a client, what have, it's in every area. And I really felt called on a personal level, something that I've also experienced to, um, and particularly some religion groups, which are really incredible. Um, the, the hate, hate, hate message from religion group. So I just felt called to share with you uh, how to really bless them, inviting you to be inspired by this. May it serve you however it is. So today I'm back at the river. You know, many of you know I always come to the river. and Oh, I love the energy. It washes me all, all the elements here, all the directions, all the elements to help support this incredible gift that we first give ourselves when we, when we, when we don't take on the energy of the haters but we use the space to bless them, send them a lot of love, a lot of prayers. You must understand when somebody comes at you like this, their heart is really, really hurt. Now, you may react if you're not yourself completely healed in your heart. But once you've passed that, you're in a space where your heart is in peace. You feel divine love inside of you. You feel God's grace bathing you. You feel the warmth of that illumination of Almighty Presence and the Elohim. And of course, the love of Yeshua's presence for some of you, for me, is very important. Yeshua, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene. And you can tell this, this energy is not affiliated with any group. It's it's, oh, it's a much higher dimensional consciousness vibration to hear support us. And when you know this inside, you feel it, you cannot get upset at individuals that lash on you. You cannot get upset at individuals that sort of, it's almost like want to take you down. They are so angered. I, I had a, um, a very hardcore Christian hate email uh, on behalf of Jesus, it was so interesting, the level of hate that was expressed in this. And I, I just couldn't even get upset because I felt so much compassion for this person. Wow, like, like wow, what may be going on through them that it can create such threat that someone like me doing my own thing sharing what feels called to me no idea how he's even she's gotten a hold of me but that that level of hate can come through her and in one way i said wow maybe this is her way to also get cleared of this 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 density inside of her maybe that's the gift so she can get clear she feels like she wants to lash it but it's i'm not getting like how do i want to say it's not coming into my field because it transmutes and another thing is, um, I had a personal experience with uh, my uh, very close uh, circle of um, friends, goddess sisters, who I have nourished and loved with the depth of my heart 
when I first created the Red Tent Goddess Circle in DC, they never had one and every month we had a gathering. This went on for a long time until I had to move. And so the group sort of came, you know, they didn't have a place to go to anymore. And as a result of it, the group sort of split up. But what happened was um, one of them, particularly who has been my long-term student, really, she was my student and was always encouraged for her to stand in her own stand in her light, love, love herself, not to have to follow me, just be the magnificence that she is. So she's turned totally. And the the level of measurement she's taken to desperate, desperate measures, one of them I found out yesterday, which is inspiring me to share this with you. The level of desperate measures she's taken um, to sort of like create rumor or um, sort of like ruin my reputation among teacher. And one of the first things that, the very first thing was of course the shock aspect of it, but the other part was I came back here and I said, wow, what is it in my power in this now that I can really do to be of higher service? Because I can get in that space of the old energy, like why, why would she do that, this and that, all of these things, but that didn't feel right to me. What felt, what felt immediately to me was compassion. Again, how, what, how could a being not love herself and to have such low confidence, which it can happen, to want to take such desperate measures to make herself feel better? So I felt so much compassion. And all I felt like, let me just send prayer over. So. To the group, I've sent prayer over a lot of prayer, a lot of asking for the angels to cover them with higher light because when they go into fear, these are the things happen. These are the exact things that happen when people go into fear. So today, what I want to share with you, one of the ceremonies that I did is very powerful. I brought paper and writing everybody's name on here, doing a big blessing over it. And I brought honey and a few other things. And in this ceremony that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to engulf these haters in the most incredible amount of love. Like, ah, covering them, covering them with as much love I possibly have inside of me that runs through me from above, through me to below. And so, I genuinely wish for them to utilize their energy in more positive ways, to, to take that energy that they have, to put it into a lot of good use, because it will... You know, we have a large planet here on Earth and we each can bring our light in and unite and do a lot of good with it. And so what I wanted to share with you also is that some of you that have had the calling or um, received the calling for your divine mission and you are stepping forward courageously, you're one by one letting go of everything to 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 just be of the highest service and and stand in your truth share your god's truth whatever that is this threatens a lot of people and especially when you're coming out publicly suddenly it's going to push against a lot of people some of the ones that have known you before they don't know how to deal with this they don't know how to take it in um, some will be very supportive but some would be like this and and I know that when the ones that are like this is because that energy is going to be also transformed. You have to be very, very strong in your integrity and live from that place of oneness. And your peace and ease, that is the key, like your joy. And whether you're going to get tipped over or not by the accusations and rumors and whatever is going to come because they're very, very desperate measures. And you must also know that um, as it's coming through, these are a lot of desperate measures from a lot of other opposing forces that are working through the individuals that are closer to you just to be able to yank on you so to make sure you don't deliver your work. So those are some of the insights that I want to give you. And your, your job becomes even more important to, to be anchored even deeper inside your, your connection has to be even stronger. And so that way you can just bless it. 
blessed blessed so with this i'm welcoming you to love the haters please don't hate with hate love with hate put some beautiful honey on it and today i'm making the name of each individual these couple of individuals including this hate email that i don't know who's from <laughs> but there's a name so i'm gonna put that there i'm gonna put honey and few of these other earth elements that i bought so may they also connect with mother earth energy so they can feel the mother energy of holy spirit inside of them holy spirit is a feminine energy it's beautiful and may they hopefully open up in their whatever it's just this is just the prayer um, i can just do my part i pray the highest love for them may they bathe in god's love wherever they are and may they find their way to um to use love instead of hate and to learn to communicate which is our very important work here on earth to be able to communicate and communicate from here where the chakras are aligned and the energy is coming from earth through us so may this message be received well with you on this full moon because it is spectacular the fullness of you when it's radiating oh my goddess it really um it radiates with other ones of the same vibration and it also pushes against ones that are not in the same vibration and i'm not saying to go push yours to anyone no never but what you house in in your vessel and the and the ownership of it and especially i say this for females who are owning the sacred divine feminine energy that owns her sacredness this has been intolerable by the masculine energy the imbalanced masculine energy for so long eons it's in the collective conscious however you know that's also the space where this needs to transmute so as it's trans as it transmutes through inside of you it's going to start transmuting into the collective conscious and also know more importantly every time you love the haters you are creating the biggest impact in the in the collective conscious because the love goes out so you have the choice how to do this so mm, i'm so excited i'm going to be chanting and singing about my drum and, and just dance for them mm, may they dance so the energy moves through them anyway aho namaste in lakesh hush hush ashe amin banure esh and may this thanksgiving tomorrow May we give thanks to everything. May we give thanks for the presence of light. Everything finally goes back to light. We are from love. We go back to love. We come here to this experience the dark so we can transform it back to love. But if you're staying in dark, we're not going to do that. May we bless this land. May we bless the families we gather. May we bless wherever we are. May we just radiate and sit in that presence of thankfulness so you can feel the depth of our heart the first gift is always for us so in doing this i'm receiving the first gift first because love feels so much better always does and love is the most powerful voice powerful force powerful song in the universe aho mm, namaste and lakesh house house Ashe, Amin, Banura Esh. It felt so good to say that again. Heyakata Shana Gaga Heyate, Isanaka Shaka Hina Heyata Kahe. Shh.